Good morning. It is Thursday, uh, July 22nd, 2021. And today I am doing three separate trails still in the Cataloochee area along the Hintuga Ridge Road. And we are starting with Flat Creek Trail. It is 2.6 miles. Um, Robin is still with me on this trip, but she has decided to drop me off and take my car to the other end because it's a 2.6 mile, so it would have been 5.2 miles. And this just would have been an easier thing and she's perfectly happy uh, reading her book at the other end. Um, it just would have made for a longer day and we still have two more trails after this that are out and back. Uh, so it just, it was a nice change up. So I'm solo and I don't anticipate any problems on this trail. It is beautiful. I should turn it around. Okay. That's a little creek down the way. And, um, I don't think there are any real views. There have been views up Hintuga Road. I think it's also called Balsam Mountain Road. The road, I think Hintuga, which is the one that goes further, um, is closed in the winter. And it's because it's just a one-lane gravel road. The road that took us up to uh, Flat Creek Trail here is a nice paved two-lane road. And there are some stops and overlooks along the way. There's a couple campgrounds, uh, a couple picnic areas. So it's a really nice place. Um, I think the drive time is gonna almost take as long as the um, hike time. So it'll be interesting. Um, if I see anything interesting, I will view it. If not, I'll try to make each of these short since they're three separate trails. And the reason I'm putting these three trails together is because if you're doing the 900 miler, I would suggest trying to do these three trails together in one day because it is a remote road it takes you a while you do have to do out and back on uh, well with this one you could do a shuttle but I think shuttles are pretty expensive unless you had two people two cars you know combo um, so this one would have been an out and back had Robin uh, accompanied me and then another one is an out and back and then another one actually goes up to the Benton Mackay Trail. That's the Hyatt Ridge Trail, I think is what it's called. And the reason I'm doing that one is because when I go to do the Benton Mackay, it's just a 1.8 mile that I won't have to do at that point. So I'm gonna stop here so I can rock hop. Um, so I would suggest doing these three together uh, is a good possibility, which is why I'm recording them together. So I'll catch you later. This is the little bit of view that I've had. I don't expect to have many views, but with having a little peek, I thought I'd show you. So um, this trip includes the week that I'm here for the um, Cataloochee Divide and Caldwell Creek trails. So in those trails, I make mention of, I think when I got to the Appalachian Highland Science Center, um, that it was blue and hazy, but it just wasn't the Smokies smoke look, which is the clouds. Um, I don't know if you can tell in this one, but you've got a little bit of haze back there. You see the one um, mountain directly ahead. And then the one further back to the right, there's a little bit of blue haze that kind of obstructs the view. So we found out yesterday that apparently there's some pretty good size wild uh, fires out in west, the western states and in Canada. And apparently that smoke um, has traveled as far as North Carolina, I believe as far as New York State. And that is what's causing that haze. Um, we were trying to read up on it. Um, I think we read something off the Nantahala uh, forest tweet or something like that that said that they expect that to uh, move on once the cold front hits, which I, I don't know when that is, probably later this weekend maybe. But um, So that's why that blue smoke doesn't look like the typical blue smoke of the Smoky Mountains. I thought it was pretty interesting.
a mile left. This is the sign that greets you if you start the opposite direction. And I'm going this way. Um, so a little tidbit. It's a beautiful trail. It really is a nice trail. Um, <clears throat> but I chose to go the opposite direction that the brown book tells you to go. Um, I would suggest to go the way the brown book tells you because um, it was pretty much uphill the whole way. There was a little bit of flat. Um, which it was a gradual uphill. It wasn't really bad. But if you're going to do all three of these, um, if I'd have known that, I might have just gone with well, the way she had, um, or the person who wrote the that passage of the brown book, I would have gone that way. But I had a different plan in mind, and that's okay, because it was fine. And then you end your, your trail with this view. That's just gorgeous. Now I'd already scoped out the place so I know that coming up here is a nice little picnic area. And there's a restroom up here. And then the parking up here uh, is where um, the paved road ends and where you drive on gravel to get back to the other two hikes that I'm doing today. So, yeah. If you were to go up that way, there's the picnic area. But I think the end of the trail is still this way. Oh yeah, I see the parked cars. I did meet a few people on trail, that was nice. And I do believe I see Robin. Next on the list is Spruce Mountain Trail and Campsite 42, only 1.2 miles away. That's where we're going, straight up. Did I mention it was straight up? <laughs> Robin is singing some Paula Abdul. <laughs> okay, we have made it. My watch says almost 1.1, but it's one mile. And then as you see, we're just taking a turn here to campsite 42, which is point two. Looks like it might be a little downhill. So we should be there shortly. It is such an enchanted forest. Okay, so we've made it to the sign for Campsite 42, which is right there. Um, if you read your book, it does mention that the trail used to go up further. Uh, that says Poles Gap Trail is unsafe and temporarily closed. Um, so I don't know how long it's been closed. I might do some research on that and put it on here somehow. But as you can see, there are many down trees. Um, I wonder, I do remember them talking about a hurricane coming through here, maybe in 95. Um, so I don't know if that's what's closed it and it's just so remote that it's not easy to get back there. But, um, anyway, so that makes sense as to why campsite 42 is here all by itself. <laughs> so now we are descending into the campsite. All right. Looks like there's a tent site there.
and Yeah. Where are the bear cables? Right. And the two hiking poles. I don't know. And there's a little sign with the camping thing on it. It l looks like there's a trail that goes up there even. But I'm gonna go back to oh here's bear cables. Okay, good. I do, but I'm not going to put it in. <laughs> okay, there are the bear cables. It's actually several of them. But I don't see any more flat and level spots back here. So this looks like the main area. I would say this couldn't hold more than six people, maybe eight at the most. All right, we are done with Spruce Mountain. Uh, of course, the downhill was really easy. Um, it's not bad, it's just very steep, but being just 1.2 miles is doable and I would suggest doing it with something else. I wouldn't stay at campsite 42. Um, so yeah, so now we're on to Hyatt Ridge. Alright, we are on our third trail of the day. This trail again is straight up. Here, let me turn it around. That's our trail. But this is 1.8 miles. So once we're done with this one, we are done with the day. Alright, so we made it up to the junction of the Benton Mackay Trail, which is the um, Hyatt Ridge Trail will continue on. Excuse me. Um, but this crossroads here is the Inlow Creek Trail. Uh, of course, I'll have to come back for that. Um, but then right here is the Hyatt Ridge information. Beach Gap Trails 1.7 and then Straight Fork Road. Oh, that's the road. We, is that the road we came on? That must be the road we came on. <laughs> I never, I should always look at these before I start recording. <laughs> anyway, so Hyatt Ridge goes up this way. And then Low Creek goes down this way. And then this is the way we came up right here. Uh, so if you notice too, there are the Benton Mackay Trail signs. So that would be the Hyatt Ridge Trail. So it is beautiful. Um, but let me warn you, if you are hiking this trail uh, and you're using the Brown Book, you need to, and you're, and you're trying to gauge your uh, incline, uh, I know though that that is not to scale, but I had um, figured on the incline being about half of what it was. I think, I don't know that my, my Garmin is correct, but I've got it at about 1,500 feet, and I thought it was only going to be in the 800s. So um, it was a tough climb. Um, I wouldn't, if you do this, <laughs> maybe do it in reverse. Do Start with this trail of the day, and then end with the... Um, Flat Creek. I can't remember what it was. Flat Creek Trail, I think is what it was. Uh, bugs are bad on this trail, but that's just July. So um, it's a beautiful, beautiful trail. And I definitely, even if you're not a 900 miler and you just want to come to the Smokies to do trails, if you get to this side, you have to do all three of these trails because they're just so nice and um, just beautiful and remote. So there wasn't any uh, view, but there was a creek that we followed about halfway up, so that's really nice. So anyway, uh, we're going to head back down. All 
All right, we made it back to the trailhead for the Hyatt Ridge Trail. Um, yeah, I didn't take a whole lot of video or um, photos. There just wasn't a lot to take of it. But I will show you this. The parking is um, just a little bit up from it. So um, it's a nice, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a nice parking area. So anyway, I think that's it for this trip. Thanks for watching.